Hello! Right, I'm going to do a video because apparently some people are, are, are nosy about what other people get for their shopping. So today's been an expensive day because, you know, I took my car into the Ford dealership, which always spells disaster, but it was an electrical fault that other garages couldn't sort out. And then they were like, oh, this needs doing, this needs doing, you know, so now that i'm in for a penny i'm in for a pound so it says here oh no i've spent 68 pounds 30 at food warehouse <laughs> and this is this is top up shop this is like this is the bare minimum you know like the stuff that you get so that you can make cheaper meals it was originally 88.33 apparently it's 68 to 30 based on this. So the reason that I go to the food warehouse, number one, is next to the Bernardo's. Um, I didn't come back with anything from the Bernardo's, but I was there two days ago when I dropped the car off. Um, so I went around the whole thing then and came out with three items on that day. So I wasn't really that enthused with trying to squeeze blood out of a stone again. Um, there is also a home bargains next to it. And I've actually bought a lot of stuff in Home Bargains, which is really unlike me. I did go in for a few specific things. I did I did go in with a list. So that is the list for Food Warehouse. That is the list. It's got four items there for Home Bargains. I will do the Home Bargains as a separate video because I keep making extensively long videos and then my computer complains that... I have used up too, too much memory doing this, that and the other. But once you try and edit something and you've got clips, it just complains. Right, so I'm going to show you the stuff which I'm going to put in, imminently in the fridge. Because it's very warm here. I knew that it was going to be sun's out, guns out. Well, it's not. It's October. It's the end of October. Um, but the sun's out because I put my washing there. Because the sun... I've closed the I've closed the curtain because it's like I knew that I'd, I knew that I'd dry my washing <laughs> in the sunlight. So first thing I've got is Lurpak. So I like Lurpak. I know that nobody else likes the price of it. Um, usually I have four hundred grams. This is six hundred grams. Um, that's probably going to annoy me because you know what it's like in fridges. You've like got something and then you know that you can put something on top. And that's probably going to be like slightly too big and annoying. Lurpak was £5.83. Which isn't great, I know. But, you know, I'm, I'm slightly... I've, I've got the, the chubs for reasons. Um, milk, standard. I've run out of milk. This is the real reason why... I can't lose weight. So this is the reason that I go to um, that I go to the food warehouse. So I've got three packs of this. This is a pack of twenty-four. Yeah, pack of twenty-four. Um, obviously, these are Coke cans. Now I can't drink any other soft drink um, other than stuff that does, doesn't have saccharin, saccharin or aspartame or aspartame or however want you, however you want to call it. Um, I can't drink anything else any of these other things so lots of the stuff which i used to drink like seven up and all of those things they're out of they're out of the picture for me um i can i think i and brew have done their original recipe version of it thankfully so i can do it's been a long time coming but it seems like gradually the lorries are coming further south because when we went to Scotland we did come back with a case of iron brew because it's so hard to come by <laughs> anyway we like to have cans um it's a you know we would get bottles of it but it's a bit of a false economy because they go flat so quickly um and we like to have mixes obviously we do drink <laughs> so we like to have them it is three of them for 24 quid which i think is a bargain i've cleared their shelves out the, the other there's three packs of them they're sat in the car we live in a top floor apartment um it's all i could do to carry up the main bag um i'll do that when i do my post tomorrow you know 
there's the optimistic woman who thinks that they're going to make sales on eBay. I mean, I'm not going to make it because I've just had this hefty car bill. Um, making sales on eBay is probably not going to be forthcoming, is it? <laughs> right, let's pause. Just put in those bits in the um, fridge. So this is all dry goods. I know that Food Warehouse is, you know, it's part of Iceland. Did I actually say that on here? Yeah, it has. It's got their website on it. So although they've got like freezers and freezers and freezers full of stuff, I rarely do the freezer shopping there. The freezer's actually quite full, so I'm not going to put stuff in there um, because I tend to fill it up when I get the two good to go bags. If there's stuff there, that goes in the freezer, so I don't want to fill it up. Also, most of it is absolute gash. <laughs> I'd love to be able to go there and get stuff for the freezer. But, you know, you, you buy stuff and think, oh, yeah. And I'm always so disappointed. <laughs> so, you know, I've stopped doing that. So I've got two lots of crunching up. I did get, um, so I have red berries special k red berries and then i put a sprinkling of this on top which i know is probably a bit naughty this it has got it has got these coupons on which i do need to put on um ebay and sell them but they're only codes now they're not like proper vouchers it used to be like buy one get one free so i don't think that they sell as well but i really do need to like put a load of them on because obviously it's bank it's bank holiday it's half term so I may well actually sell a few of them. Them's. What am I saying? Like I can't speak English. Right. So they were two for a fiver. I usually get like they had a really big bag, but it's the pasta that I don't like. I mean, I'm really weird with pasta. I like this shape, but I don't like the drum wheat one where it's just I don't know. <laughs> it really puts me off. I don't know why. It must be some psychological thing. Um, but I think this was like £1.25. Um, £1.25. Ding! And then this was £6, I believe. Is it? Yeah. So £6 for all that rice. So I mean, that'll do us for donkeys. Um, and annoy me because it'll fill the cupboard up. So that's five kilograms of rice. Um, but, you know, this is this is why I went in there to put these things in there, which, you know, help out with making food as our chopped tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes, I mean, once upon a time you could get four of them or you could get six of them for a quid. Um, so, you know, it's, it's disappointing. That is three quid for four of them. It's just, it's really depressing. I think the thing is, is for people who are old enough to remember when you could like, you could do a massive shop for 30 quid and that would see you through for the month. Oh, and those days, those days are over. So, I mean, so the next thing that I have <laughs> is I've got, I've got three of these home pride things, um, pasta bakes, um, this is for when we really cannot be bothered. And I'm, you know, we don't, the, we only tend to like get a couple of these every couple of months. We don't, we don't rely on these. Um, but I like to have them in because when you really can't be asked and you just want to do something where you just go, you know, and the, the worst thing you have to do is grate some cheese and throw it in the oven. That's why I got them. Three for, Three for a fiver. Ain't bad really, is it? I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. And then I've got three of these. The Lloyd Grossman ones aren't so bad. So I've got tomato and chilli. Do you know, I never told you what flavours I've got of these. Um, creamy tomato and herb. Tomato and bacon. Tomato. Tomato creamy tomato and cheddar <laughs> it's fascinating stuff i know i know um and for the lloyd grossman cludo who stole the recipe 
I can win something, but I probably won't bother. So um, what we got there? Tomato and chilli sauce. Tomato and mascarpone. And tomato and basil. <laughs> or tomato and basil. Tomato and basil. Or tomato and basil. Depending on, you know, your preference. <laughs> And later, I'm going to indulge in some oregano. There's not, there's, there really isn't that much here. Again, they were three for a fiver. These were three for a fiver. Gel freezy. Why have I picked up my dress? Oh, for God's sake. I don't know why I've picked up my dress. Um, Antica Masala. So with these, my husband, he always does a very, very um, long, drawn out curry. He always makes it himself. And then he just adds one of these to sort of like bulk it out. <laughs> so we always do cook quite hot because he always goes quite hot and it keeps you healthy, doesn't it? And then the last thing we've got is dag chili. We've got some we've got some dynamite. These these were expensive, but you literally these they stopped stocking these everywhere. So I keep stacking up on these because I don't want to end up in a situation where I can't get them because my husband loves these. But, you know, I feel like stag chili is like one of those things where it's like starting to get fattier and fattier. And it's a bit like me and Frey Bentos. You know, when I was a student, Frey Bentos was cheap and it was brilliant and it tasted good. But now it it doesn't puff up like it used to. And it's full of fat. Um, and plus I watched a YouTube video about how once upon a time Frey Bentos poisoned loads of people with listeria or something and that's really put me off as well <laughs> so they were, they did have free and i think they do quite good prices but i'm I, i'm not um yeah I'm, I'm not i'm not there for that anymore what i am there for is watching um the next generation trying to open them on tiktok because apparently they can't they don't know how, they don't know how to use tin openings <laughs> that's why i've got these on the top <laughs> there's a whole generation who because of this don't know how to use tin openers oh, dear lord uh, do you remember when we used to have a ring pull on there that came off and sometimes it used to tear and then you had to like somehow get it off um, ugh. you know we did have ring pulls everywhere in the grass but you know that invention yeah it's, it's that's probably a good one but you know, I'm old enough to remember the other ones <sighs> yeah so we've got we've got that it's nice on a it's nice on a baked potato so that's why we've got that and I the dynamite ones my husband likes and then you know he's quite quickly on the toilet with it so you know the dynamite chili ones of these are serious and I won't eat them so I've got four of them but these are 225 I think yeah 225 for them um they are expensive. They don't they don't stock these anymore in like Tesco and the rest of these places. So I feel like I I feel like I need to purchase them to encourage them to to like still be in manufactured. <laughs> Otherwise they'll like completely disappear. And that is everything anyway. That is everything that I've got. Um, it is a very very small haul. I didn't get anything from. I mean this is this is one of these places that um that. Eddie Ebu or whatever he goes and shouts in. They do have lots of um, frozen stuff, obviously, and but they do have fresh stuff as well. But we've got we've got plenty of meat in in the freezer, which is what these things will help with. Um, and we we've got salad and the rest of it. And now that we've got the car back, we will actually be able to do some shopping this week. <laughs> um, but yes. £68.30. It's probably not very much that I've got here for £68.30 because I first started grocery shopping in the 90s. So I, I, I'm constantly, constantly in comparison. And I stuck to my list. Um, although some of the things I actually got from Home Bargains. So Home Bargains were slightly cheaper on some things. You know... For example, 
one of the things which I did want to get from Food Warehouse was this, as in the bigger version of it. This is 500 grams. This was £3.60 in Food Warehouse, but it was £3.58 in Home Bargains. So I have saved £2 but by getting it from Home Bargains. So thank you for watching. I'm sure that that was absolutely fascinating and, you know, you feel, you know, fuller and more invigorated having seen the crap that I fill my cupboards with. So if you enjoyed that, then please watch my um, Home Bargains haul, you know, which I have, you know, I, I literally... I literally go in with a list and I come out with the list. So this one, this one was me shopping. Um, this was me browsing and shopping and getting unplanned things. So if you like this, please watch that. And thank you for watching. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from France. Goodbye.